For the second year in a row, Marquette women's basketball was dancing on the biggest stage. Instead of the warm beaches of Miami, the Golden Eagles would be heading to the Derby City to take on the ninth-seeded Dayton Flyers. The main focus was to advance, but last year's disappointing first-round loss to Quinnipiac was on their minds, too. Last year, we didn't play as well as we thought we should. We were a little nervous, so we're just trying to go in confident. Like, we know what to expect. We know how the game flow goes. We know how everything is set up. So we're just using that as motivation and just make sure it doesn't happen again. Last year, we were just so intent on making the NCAA tournament. We talked about that all year. And when we got there, it was like, OK, now what? And all year long, we've been talking about going farther than this program ever has been before. Um, so I think that was one thing that I changed is, you know, let's not just make the goal to get to the tournament. Let's make the goal to win a couple games in advance as far as we can. Go to work. Nice, good. The mood in Louisville was serious, and that was reflected in the first practice. Good, good, look for your pitches. Head coach Carolyn Keeger wanted her squad focused on the details. Guys, we gotta make the ball handle uncomfortable. We can't be that far off. Every, everybody on the team can shoot it. Let's go, go back. Okay. Hey. Oh, come on guys, let's go. Okay, then they're gonna screen in, which we're gonna switch, okay? With the game plan finely tuned, it was time for the team to enjoy a meal and head to the arena. It was game day, and everyone on staff was intent on earning the program's first NCAA victory since 2011. In my heart, I know that this team is ready for greatness. You are destined for it. You are special, and you are ready. You understand? The second thing, it is time. It is time for you to take over the program. Marquette was sluggish out of the gates, digging themselves an 11-3 hole after four minutes. But Natisha Heideman quickly flipped the script. <laughs> Heideman hit five three-pointers in the first quarter alone, scoring 18 points in just nine minutes. With all eyes on T, the other starters had space to work with, and they took advantage. Erica Davenport used some terrific passing from Heidemann to work the lower block. Our advantages, we have lots of that. Got that? Thanks to a complete team effort, it was all smiles as Keeger earned her first ever NCAA win. Guys, that's a big time win, and that's a big time statement. You understand? Now what? Louisville! Now we go shock the world, right? Not us, not shock us, shock the world. We know what we, we can do. We are Marquette! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! The celebration was short-lived for Marquette as the focus quickly shifted to dethroning number one seeded Louisville. It was a tall task, one that would demand a nearly flawless game from the entire staff. It, it would be great to come into a number one seed and, and knock them off. Obviously, we're going to have to play a, a fantastic game, and we're all going to have to be sharp, uh, my staff included, and every single player on the entire roster. Marquette was greeted with an enthusiastic crowd outside their hotel. It was game day. Now get off this bus unless you're ready to win! Hoorah! Yeah, we are one of 32 teams. 32. Yeah. Do your job tonight. Rebound, communicate, and you will be one of 16. You understand? Watch this video, get yourselves hyped, do your creed, and let's go win a ball game. Got it? The Golden Eagles struggled early again as the Cardinals' size posed all sorts of challenges on defense and on the glass. A scalding hot Alizea Blockton kept Marquette in the contest. Just two days after Heidemann set a program record for points, Lockton would come out and rewrite the history books herself. She tallied 34 points to become Marquette's single season scoring leader. However, the heroic effort was not enough, as Louisville's balanced squad proved too much to handle. Despite the loss, 
Keeger couldn't help but be proud of her team's weekend. Even last year to this year, from the Quinnipiac game to the Louisville game and to the Dayton game, I think we've grown up a lot. And so you give us another summer, um, you know, another off season to improve and get better. And uh, I'm really excited to see what this group can do. I think there's big things ahead.